Good morning and welcome to today's class. Today's class is a continuation of our previous classes on swords. In today's class, we shall be looking at the multiplication of swords. At the previous class, we were able to look at the addition and subtraction involving swords. And I left the class with an assignment for you to do where I said you should simplify the following. 3 root 28 minus 5 root 63 plus 4 root 112. You have to compare your answers with what uh, I'm going to do now. I'm going to give you the solution of this. And thereafter, we move ahead to solving today's class. But if you know you have not liked this video, please kindly click on the like button as well as turn on your notification bell so as to be informed whenever a new video is being uploaded. We also recommend you to share this link to your friends and classmates. Question 1 says 3 root 28 minus 5 root 63 plus 4 root 112. So just like we did in the previous class, you have to express them in their basic sort forms and then you collect like terms. So when you express this, this becomes 3 times root 8, if expressed in each single sort form, can be simplified to be 4 times 7, where 4 is a perfect square, and square root of 4 is 2. So that gives us 2 root 7 minus 5 times, also express 63 as a product of two factors, where 1 is a perfect square, and 63 in terms of 7 can be said to be 7 times... 7 times 9 will give you 63. So root 9 is 3, and this becomes 3 root 7 plus 4 times 1, 1, 2 can be expressed as 7 times 16. And 16 is the perfect square, so square root of 16 is 4. So this becomes 4 root 7. I have discussed all this with you at the previous class. This is just me giving you the answers to the assignment given. This becomes 6 root 7 minus 15 root 7 plus 16 root 7. And when you simplify, this becomes minus 15 root 7 plus 16 root 7. That gives you 1 root 7. So 1 root 7 plus 6 root 7. That gives you 7 root 7. So your answer to this particular question is 7 root 7. Don't forget to like this video and also use the comment section to interact with us. Solution to question 2, we have root 224 minus root 126 minus root 56. So how do we express 224 as the product of two factors where 1 is the perfect square? You can use your calculator to do that by dividing 2 to 4 by prime factors and see which gives you a perfect square. 2 to 4 can be expressed as a product of two factors where 1 is a perfect square and that becomes 14 times 16. 14 times 16 will give you 2 to 4 where 14 can no longer be broken down as a product of two factors where 1 is a perfect square. Otherwise, we would have broken it further. So this becomes 16 root 16 times 14 minus 1 to 6 can be said to be 14 times 14 times 9 minus root this should be 14 times 4 14 times 4 will give you um, 56 okay so simplifying this further this will give us root 16 is 4, so this becomes 4 root 14 minus 3 root 14 minus 2 root 14. So, they are all in terms of root 14, so you can add them because they are similar sorts. So, 4 root 14 minus 3 root 14, that gives you 1 root 14, and 1 root 14 minus 2 root 14 is 
set to be minus 1 root 14. So you can either leave it as minus 1 root 14 or minus root 14. This is your answer. And the last question on that assignment is 2 root 135 minus 2 root um, minus 2 root minus 2 root 60 plus root 15 minus root 240. Now looking at this, I observe that root 14 cannot be broken down into a, a, it's already in its basic form. So therefore, I'll try and see if all of them can also be expressed in terms of root 15. And I think 60 can also go. So they can be expressed as a product of um, 14. So this can be simplified to be 2 root. If I should divide 135 by 15, 135 divided by 15 is said to be 9. So we have 9 times 15 minus 2 into 60 divided by 15 is 4. So this is 4 times 15 plus root 15 minus root 240 divided by 15. That should be 16. So this becomes 16 times 15. Simplifying this, we have 2 times 3 root 15 minus 2 times 2 root 15 plus 1 root 15 minus 4 root 15, which this can also be simplified further to be 6 root 15 minus 4 root 15 plus root 15 minus 4 root 15. So they are all similar sorts. So we can collect like terms. Let me add up all the positive. Positive 6 root 15 plus 1 root 15 will give you 7 root 15 minus all the negatives. Minus 4 root 15 minus 4 root 15 is said to be minus 8 root 15. And when you subtract this, it's going to give you minus root 15. So this is your answer. And this can be said to be the solution to the assignment I left at the last class for you to do. In today's class, we shall be looking at the multiplication of sorts. We have looked at the addition and subtraction of sorts. In today's class, we shall look at the multiplication of sorts. Why in our next class, we shall look at the division operations on sorts. Can you like this video if you are still watching? As well as subscribe if you are yet to do that. Also turn on the notification button so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. We recommend you to share this video link to your friends and classmates so that they can also benefit from mathematics. So multiplication of sorts. We said multiplication of two or more sorts involves simplification before performing the multiplication operation on them. Before I introduce you to addition and subtraction at the last class, I equally spoke on simplification of sorts. You discover that we are still looking at simplification of sorts in multiplication and we we'll also look at it in division. Now, this enables you to uh, get the correct answer easily. Now, you have to simplify sorts in order for you to make it easier when multiplying or adding. That doesn't mean you cannot multiply two sorts, two or more sorts, without simplifying it. No, you can. But you must be good in your squares and square roots. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you. And I'm going to show you, use both ways, to see how we can arrive at the same answer. So, in multiplication of sorts, you are recommended, or I'm recommending you, that while solving such problems, you should first and foremost simplify it to their basic sort forms before you proceed with multiplication. In the previous videos, I have explained on how to convert from simple sort forms to basic sort forms, and from basic sort forms to simple sort forms. You can revisit that video 
if you if you are still having issues with simplification of sorts. So, example one, we are asked to simplify the following: root eight times root ninety. We are going to simplify root eight to its basic sort form as well as root ninety to its basic sort form. Thereafter, we move ahead to multiply. So this is equal to root eight can be expressed as root four times root 2. I'll write it as root 4 times 2 times root 90 can be expressed as root 9 times 10. So this is root 9 times 10 and this becomes 2 root 2 times 3 root 10. In multiplication of sorts, in multiplication of sorts, we multiply the rational numbers together as well as the irrational numbers. So what we have to do is to first of all multiply out the rational numbers. When you are done, you then multiply out the irrational numbers. So if I'm to multiply this, this is going to be equal to 2 times 3 times bracket root 2 times root 3. 10. This is going to be equal to 2 times 3 is 6 times, remember the rules of sorts which I gave you at the previous class. We said root 2 times root 10 can be expressed as root 2 times 10. So this is equal to 6 times root 2 times 10 is what? 20. Now remember I said it should be in your basic sort form. So when you multiply, ensure that the irrational part is in its basic sort form. So 20 can still be simplified to be 6 times root 4 times 5. And this is equal to 6 times 2 root 5, which is equal to 6 times 2 is 12 root 5. This is your answer. This is how to multiply in sorts. Question 2. Root 24 times root 48. Now I'm going to be a little bit faster because I have explained what you are expected to do in the first example. Kindly like this video if you are yet to do so as well as to subscribe if you've not done that. Also on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. You can also follow us on our Facebook at My Lesson Teacher homepage. As well as you can also join us on our Instagram page at My Lesson Teacher. I'm going to simplify root 24 and root 48 in their basic sort forms before multiplying. Okay, in the first example, I did that. But in the second example, we can go straight ahead to multiply and thereafter we we'll simplify. So whichever way you take, you will see arrive at the same answer. But to be on a safer side, it is advisable that you simplify before you multiply. So this I can express to be equal to root 24 times root 48. So we have to multiply 24 by 48. That is to say 24 times 48. 4 times 8 is 32. You write down 2 and carry 3. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 3 is 19. 4 times 4 is 16. Write down 6 and carry 1. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9. This gives us 2, 5, 11. So we have it to be 1152. Just like I said, you then need to understand your squares and square root. But this number seems to be too big. So you have to use the aid of a calculator in getting those two terms that when you multiply them together gives you 1152. You may start with 2 and keep expanding or reducing, simplifying it until you get it to its basic sort form. So, 
I'm going to use my calculator in getting those two terms. I can simplify root 1152 or I can express it to be root 144 times 8. For 144 times 8 will give you 1152. And this can also be simplified further to be root 144 times 4 times 2. I'm still trying to reduce it down to its um, simplest form because I know that 8 can also be expressed as a product of two factors where 1 is a perfect square. So this becomes root 144 times root 4 times root 2. This becomes 12 times 2 times root 2. And this is said to be 24 root 2. So this is your answer. If we had simplified it before multiplying, it would have been faster and easier. Okay, let's solve it again. But in this next example, I'm going to simplify it before multiplying. That is root 24 times 48. Root 24 times root 48. So this can be said to be, simplifying this, we have root Mm, this is 4 times 6 times root 48, 16 times 3. This can be simplified to be 2 root 6 times 4 root 3, which can be simplified to be, I'll multiply the rational part first. This becomes 8 root 6 times 6 times 3 this is equal to 8 root 6 times 3 is 18 this is 8 root 18 and root 18 can be written as root 9 times root 2 which is equal to 8 times 3 root 2 which is equal to 24 root 2. Now this is easier solving without the use of a calculator because you were able to express these two um, sorts in their simplest form before multiplying. Unlike this, I have to use calculator before I got two terms that when I multiply it gives me 1152. So whichever method you think is easier for you, you can go ahead with using it. But I just have to show you both ways in which you can use in solving it. Next question, C says root 6 times root 5 times root 2. They are all in their basic soft forms. So you can go ahead to multiply out, then you simplify where necessary. This is equal to root 6 times 5 times 2, which is equal to root 6 times 5 is 30. 30 times 2 is 60. So this becomes root 60. And root 60 can be given as root 4 times 15. Root 4 times 15. And this is said to be 2 root 15 as your answer. Don't forget to like our videos and also use the comment section to know how you feel about this video. If you are pleased with it, you can give us a thumbs up and also recommend our channel to friends and classmates so that they can also benefit from this project. C, 5 root 2 all squared. When you're asked to square a sort, you have to consider two things. That is, we have the rational and the irrational parts. The rational part has to be the coefficient of the irrational part. 5 is said to be the rational number, while root 2 is said to be the irrational number. You can express this, 5 root 2 all squared can be simplified to be 5 root 2 times 5 root 2. Thereafter, you multiply the rational part as well as the irrational part. So this is going to give us 5 times 5 times root 2 times root 2. This becomes 5 times 5 is 25 times root 4. And square root of 4 is a perfect square. So this is equal to 
25 times 2, which is equal to 50. Or, since it is a one term, all you need to do is square both the rational part and the irrational part. When you square 5, it gives you 25. When you square root 2, it gives you 2. For the square of a square root is that number. So the square root of the square of root 2 is 2. When you multiply 2 with 25, it gives you 50. So let's take exercises on multiplication. We are asked to multiply root 3 times root 10. So they are both in their basic sort forms. All we need to do is to multiply them straight ahead. Where necessary, you simplify. This becomes root 3 times 10. And root 3 times 10. 3 times 10 is 30. This becomes root 30. And I doubt if 30 can be expressed as a product of two factors where one is a perfect square. It's not possible. So your answer is root 30. 2. Root 8 times root 32. You simplify it. Root 8 in sort form is said to be 2 root 2. Why root 36 can be said to be what? 4 root 2. How did I know that? Because I've been able to perfect my squares and square roots and how to simplify them. For 32 is equal to 16 times 2. And square root of 16 is 4. Why root 2 is an irrational number. So you then multiply. 4 times 2 is 8 times root 2 times root 2. Is said to be 2. So this is 2. And 2 times 8 is 16. Question 3. 2 root 7 all squared can be said to be 2 root 7 times 2 root 7. Multiply out the rational part, you have 2 times 2 times, multiply out the ir irrational part, it gives you root 7 times 7. This becomes 4 times root 49 and square root of 49 is 7. So this becomes 4 times 7 which is equals to 28. So 28 is your answer. Or you can just look at it and say square of 4, square of 2 is 4, square of root 7 is 7, and 7 times 4 is said to be 28. You can do this when solving objective or in jam. But when it has to do with showing of working, then you do this in your work, maybe theory and whatever. You have to do this. Question 4. Root 12 times root 32. Root 12 can be expressed as 2 root 3. For 12 can be expressed as 4 times 3. And square root of 4 is 2. So this is 2 root 3 times root 32 can be said to be what? 4 root 2. So this becomes 4 root 2. Now when you multiply out, this becomes 8. That's for the rational part. Why the irrational part gives us what? root 6 and root 6 cannot be expressed in its simplest form because it's already in its simplest form and our answer is 8 root 6. Question number 5 root 6 times 2 root 5 times root 30 this can be said to be the coefficient of root 6 is 1 coefficient of root 5 is 2 coefficient of root 30 is 1 so this can be simplified to be 2 times where I multiply the irrational part, which is 6 times 5 times 30. This is equal to 2 times root 30 times 30. And I can still do this to be, because I don't want to have a bigger number, so I'll not multiply 30 by 30, but I know that 30 by 30 can be expressed as 2 times root 30 squared. And square will cancel square root leaving you with 2 times 30, which is equal to 60. Or you can simplify this by saying 30 times 30, that will give you 900, and square root of 900 is 30. 6. Root 18 times root 5. Root 18 can be expressed as root 9 times root 2, and root 9 is 3. So this becomes 3 root 2 times root 5, which is equal to 3 times root 2 times 5. This gives us 3 root 10. 10 cannot be broken down further. So this is our answer.
Number seven, five root three times four root two square. Now take note, this square affects only what is in the bracket, only root two. So therefore, this square will not affect four. So four, four will not be squared. Okay, so simplifying this, it gives us five root three times four times I told you that the square of a square root is that number. Okay, so this square will neutralize the square root, leaving us with 2. So this is equal to 5 root 3 times 8. And this is 40 root 3. As our answer, 8, we have root 10 times 3 root 2 by 5 root 8. I can express this in the simplest form. Others are in their basic sort forms, okay? So this becomes root 10 times 3 root 2 times 5 times, this is 2 root 2, 2 root 2. So this is equal to root 10 times 3 root 2 times 10 root 2. This is said to be 3 times 10 times root 10 times 2 times 2. So this is equal to 30 root, this is 10 times 4, that's 40. And this is equal to 30 times root 4 times 10. This can be reduced to 30 times 2 root 10 which is equal to 60 root 10. There are simpler ways you can use in solving this, but I don't have to take it this way so that even the least person will be able to understand. Can you like our videos while you watch? We also recommend you to share our links to your friends and families. Also subscribe if you are yet to do that and turn off the notification button so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. Question 9, root 7 times 5 root 2. They are all in their basic sort forms. This becomes 5 times root 7 times 2. This is equal to 5 root 14. And I doubt if 14 can be expressed in its basic sort form. For This is the basic sort form. Next question, root a squared b times a root a b squared. Now I'm going to take my time in explaining this. You just sit and watch. A squared b is not. And how can I simplify this? Remember the law of sort says root a times root b is equal to root a b. So therefore, if you have root a times root b, you can still make it to be equal to root a. A, B. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to simplify this to be equal to root A squared times root B, which is the law of salt, times, do same to this, A times root A times root B squared. Now, square will neutralize square root. Same thing with this. So that this becomes a root b, I'm using this now, times a b, because this is out, a b root a. So when you multiply it, this gives you a squared b root, then you multiply a times b and arrange in alphabetical order, it gives you root AB. So, this is your answer. It's as simple as that. Next question. A root AB times B root AB squared. Now, this is equal to A root AB times Remember, this can be expressed as b root ab 
times b root a b for why something is squared it means that thing multiplying itself okay so this is what it therefore means so this can be simplified to be a root a b times b times b you give us b squared times root a b squared and square will neutralize square roots so this is equal to a root a b times b squared times a b so move ahead and simplify i will now multiply out the rational parts so a times a b times b squared will be a times b squared times a b times root a b and this will be equal to multiply our like terms a times a is a squared b squared times b is b cube then times the irrational part which is root a b so this is your answer let me know if you are still confused on some of the examples i saw you can interact with me using the comment section and i'll be available to attend to your problems 12 we have root a b times root a plus b now just go ahead and follow the rules of salt this becomes root a b times a plus b all under the square root this is equal to root a b into a plus b now i doubt if this is the simplified form but you can also express it as root use a b to multiply every term in the bracket this gives you a squared b plus a b squared so you can either leave it in this form or in this form but this seems to be the most simplified form question 13 says 3 a b squared times 3 root a b now this square will affect every term in the bracket so i'm going to square every term in the bracket when you square 3 it gives you 9 square a it gives you a squared square b it gives you b squared is as good as you saying 3 a b times 3 a b then times 3 root a b so this is equal to 3 times 9 is 27 so we have 27 a squared b squared root a b as our answer and the last question but not the least says 1 over 3 into root 3 cube root 3 cube okay note this so this can be simplified to be 1 over 3 times remember cube now means root 3 multiplying itself three times so this is going to be root 3 times root 3 times root 3 now watch how i'm going to simplify this this is equal to 1 over 3 times root 3 times root 3 is said to be root 3 squared right then times root 3 okay for this now becomes 1 over 3 times the square of a square root of 3 is 3 over 1 times root 3 and this is equal to 3 over 3 root 3 and 3 over 3 is 1 so this is equal to root 3 so our answer is said to be root 3 that brings us to the end of today's class in today's class we have learned how to multiply sorts and the way to multiply sorts we said is to simplify them to their basic sort forms before you multiply you can as well go ahead to multiply before you simplify but simplifying before multiplying makes it easier and better for you to solve can you like our videos as you watch 
subscribe if you have not done that and on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded we also recommend that you share the link with your friends and classmates but before we go let me give you an assignment now you should simplify the following one four root two squared two root five squared three two root three or squared four seven root two or squared and five bracket eleven root three or squared all you need to do is to follow the method i used by squaring each of the term both the rational and the irrational parts in, in the brackets and then you simplify thank you for being part of today's class see you in our next class where we shall be looking at division in sorts do have a nice day